Good morning, guys. This is Tony. Welcome back to Rolla's Details. Today's video, but this one here is gonna be more like behind the scenes. And we're gonna meet Phil Miranda, Jason from Chicago Auto Pros, and Eric from G Technic. It's gonna be more people there. I don't know who they are, but I, I got, I know that there is gonna be more people. So I can't wait to see who they are and all that. And this video is gonna be like I said, like behind the scenes. Uh, and I wanna bring you guys with me. So we're gonna be installing like all the reels. We're gonna be building the setup, um, like Phil's Miranda setup, uh, G Technics setup, and as well, we are gonna be doing mine just if we got time. If we don't have time, that's okay because it's gonna be two dates, two days on that. But at the same time, like that takes time and all that kind of thing. So. All right, guys, uh, I want to bring you guys with me. And so let's check it out. Let's see what's going to happen. So let's go. All right. All right. Two weeks ago, Eric from G Technic dropped off the G Technic mobile detailing van at Tony Rolda's to get a custom mobile detailing unit installed inside of it. And we're not done yet. We still have to do some work on it, but a That's lot great. of it is already done. The main structure of it, the main structure is done. And he hasn't seen it. And yeah. this is the first time he's going to see it. And I'm excited for him to see it. Eric, you ready? Ready. All right, let's open the door. Hi, Eric. He got the black diamond plate. Oh, yeah. Look at this, Tony. Who are you? Matt, your racks are going to look beautiful in here. And the tent fits and the spare tire fits. Correct. And we, we got some work to do still. You want to show them around the, the van, what you did? What did you do over here? Look at you, man. You got to have the 32-inch show TV, Jason. You know, you can't leave home without it. Yeah, this is killer. This is killer. That's the hand, my man. Thank you. <laughs> Look at you. And it all fit. We were a little nervous about that. You was nervous about it? I think we were nervous. I was nervous, too. <laughs> That's we. Me and you, we, together, yeah. combined. <laughs> Jason wasn't nervous because we weren't calling him and bothering him. Look at how clean it is, though. I'm going to shut the door. You even kept all of the plastic because you knew how OCD we were. No one's going to get cut. The edges are done. Yep. Yeah, this is going to be killer. Is this a whole other... You can slide it. Get out of here! You didn't tell me you were going to do that. I was surprised. <laughs> this is a surprise. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> All right, what What now? Let's put some stuff in it. Yeah, yeah. so what is this? This is for... This is a slide out for... This is the slide out for the generator that don't work, so... Okay. <laughs> but don't worry, we can replace it. That's not a problem. Because we got enough room. Yes, we got enough room. Like uh, You designed any... accordingly. Yes. And this is cool. I like this. So we... slide outs. Yeah. And they lock. Yes. So we can put the racks on here. Mm -hmm. And then this is going to come out, like you said, for the product. Correct. That was very, very smart. Same thing on the TV. Wow. Yeah, this is killer. So we got to connect the pressure washer generator connections for the water tank for the water tank we got a tv in here yeah. we got to get the wiring done we got to get, get netflix we got to get netflix it is a smart tv so we got to get netflix and chill and then this is uh underneath the van here this is where all the like all the storage for the tents and everything you guys have yeah so we have a, a 10 by 20 show tent and then the car goes off the car sorry van the little van goes all over the country, so we didn't want to be without a spare tire and a jack and a toolkit. So when we originally started designing it, we were really nervous because the tire is kind of big. We're like, where can we put it? And then we sent the tent up with Tony, and it was funny. He called me, like, what, a weekend, and he's like, hey, don't leave your tent and everything's in my shed. And I went, no, Tony, that's got to go in the van. And he went, oh. <laughs> so we got to do the detail stuff and all that. I think he killed it. He nailed it. Yeah. It's so nice. All right, before we start working on the van, let's show it real quick. But we have to go out to your trailer, and your trailer's getting a new pressure washer set up, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I'm excited about that. 
And All right, let's show everybody the van real quick, and then we're going to work on Phil's trailer, and then we're going to come back and start attaching everything to the defender. Everything to everything. So we're going to show under here. Look at all that. We can fit two tables underneath. Okay. Two tables. Uh, we just missing one. Mm -hmm. Should mm -hmm. be three of them, but yeah, that's the space that we got. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. What's Very going on this back wall here? Anything going back here? All the goodies. So you'll get your the pressure washer reel. The if we upgrade to an air compressor, we want to be able to have an air reel. We have the electrical reel to be able to have an extension cord back here. And then the beads rack systems will go on the doors, the pull-out slides, the back wall here. So we can just have a mix of grab and go product for washing at shows, but also be able to display stuff, which is kind of cool. Mm. And um, we'll finally get rid of the white hinges. <laughs> Our apparent now that we have to, so we have black diamonds. In. So, very cool. I think the beads racks are gonna look, the contrast between the stainless and the matte black yeah. is gonna be sharp. Yeah. Yep. So this is gonna look pretty killer. Well, let's go see your trailer, because we got to get that done, and then we got to do the same thing in here. Let's get a long day. All right, generator, pressure washer, water tank, all very important things, and all the little accessories that you have too, like these, the reels, and the way that you have it connected, and that's what really kind of helps with efficiency. You know, I'm looking at you got a, a reel for your hose here just to keep everything organized, because that was one of the big challenges when I was mobile detailing, is at the end of the day, you're tired, and you just end up throwing everything in the van. And you're like, I just want to get out of here. Yep. You just throw, throw shit it everywhere and it becomes a real mess real quickly. And then you don't realize it till the next day when you're at another job, you're like, oh, I got to spend a half hour trying to clean all this crap up. Yeah. And then everything's wired in with remotes. So you literally have a remote for a lot of this stuff. Yeah, so a remote for the vacuum, a remote for the air compressor, and then I believe a remote for blower here okay like a little air dryer blower so you can be 50 feet away and yeah. be able to turn everything on what is the remote all right we're going to check out uh tony's van and i think we're going to make this into a two-part video because this is such good information and then the second part is going to be actually building out the g-technic van from start to finish so tony let's take a look all right <laughs> This is, I mean, this is compact. You got everything in here. Yeah. So you're dealing with a much smaller footprint than a trailer. So. Correct. Correct. So. There's what I can Ooh, those towels. are long. This is five feet long. Wow. Come up five feet. Excuse me. That's awesome. And they all pull out? Yes. Oh, that one has a little bit of problems. <laughs> Need some oil. Little yeah. scrape. Need some oil. Okay, so you got all your attachments all my in here and everything. Stuff. All right. We got to find out what's in that one. <laughs> oh. oh. And over here, I got my headlight restoration kit. I have my... I got to move my ceramic coatings out of here because it's, the heat is coming, oh, you know, yeah. so I got to move. something you have to deal with. with yeah, the, yeah, yeah, that's something that you got to deal with, you know, uh, but pretty soon I'm going to move them out, you know. And then the door here, you got, I mean, you're utilizing everything. You got uh, some brush holders, some bottle holders yeah. there and everything, and everything's labeled. I like that. That's awesome. Do you normally work by yourself or do you have a guy? What, what it depends. Like so, when I have like maybe two full details, I bring somebody with me. Yeah. Uh, if not, if I just do one vehicle or maybe one full detail and one maintenance, um, I just do it by myself. Nice. Yeah. All right. Um, that's part one. Showing you some of the equipment. Stick around for part two. We're going to talk more about uh, pros and cons of some of mobile detailing. I'll give some tips and tricks and techniques. And we're actually going to be putting the G-Technic van together and putting in a lot of the equipment and holders and organization tools into the van. Thanks for watching.
Tony's totally oh, the yeah. man behind all the magic that was done to the Jeep Technic van. Can you walk us through what exactly that you did here and everything that you've done to the van? Yes, uh, the first challenge was to get the black diamond plate because he does something that he really wants and I was looking all over the place and finally I get some. So the good thing we have it now and what we did is the main challenge here was to fit all the stuff like spare tire is a huge canopy and make like products as well so that was the main thing uh, so that's why i decided to do this uh box you know in order to fit all their stuff in there and at the same time make this wall with a black diamond plate as well on the doors in order to you know put all the uh um bottle holders and all that kind of good stuff you know so as well like 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 you guys saw uh we just did the frame and we're gonna be working on the installation you know all the pressure washer wheels and all that stuff so like over here is pretty simple but we did this little door over here um which you can fit the spare tire the canopy two big tables on it as well and we got the jack and all the stuff you know to remove the tire on the side and that right there is with magnets in order to keep it safe and we can move to the other side now. So on this side, uh, what I did is I did this sliding door as well, you know, to keep all the stuff or if they cannot reach something from behind, they're gonna be able to pull out their stuff, you know, like products and stuff like that. In here we got, you know, products uh, toped in there, also the, the weights for the uh, canopy as well, which they are pretty heavy. And this one's here for the tables. So, and a lot of more stuff in there. Um, over here, we did this slide out thing in order to, you know, bring the TV out 100% if you want. Because every mobile detailing van needs a TV in it. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you know, I decide to do it that way. That way you can point, you know, the TV anywhere you, that you want, pretty much. So, that's something that I really like about it. So, yeah. And then they'll go in and they actually walk in. And they're gonna lock into place. We got a 25 gallon water tank as well uh, for wash maybe two to three vehicles, mainly service, I would say, or something like that. So, and as well, we can walk to the other side. Okay. I forgot I was recording things. You're in about three minutes of what you're looking at. It's all right. <laughs> On this side, we have the uh, generators light up, uh, which took them out like about 20, 20 inches out. And uh, the same same thing we did on this one here. It's another slide out for all the products. You can install, you know, the bottle holders or polishing racks or things like that. And they're gonna be easy to get them, you know. So this one as well, you can push it in, lock into place. And we have another drawer on this side, but what you're gonna see right here is technically the canopy, so nothing we <laughs> we can do nothing on it. Right. So daytime, time one. I'm sorry, yeah, time yeah. yeah. All right, so yeah, that's so that's pretty much what I did. Uh, it take me about close to two weeks to build this one, and it was not enough time, but <laughs> we did it. I wish I can have a little bit more time to do some other things as well, which I have still have some space over here to create some more stuff and but maybe in the future you know we can do something else on that perfect thank you the pressure the pressure get like three cameras on you get out of there We'll be a little more particular about it a little bit, you know. <laughs> yeah, going, going black was the way to go. Don't know if I'm actually allowed to say that on camera, but, <laughs> you know.
All right, heads up, we'll close the garage. Version two of the polisher rack, you already had version one out before. Again, it has a centralized logo. We've moved that down to the bottom, and we've added two cutouts, which are perfect for mini size machines. So now this same slim design, pull this out here. Instead of being bulky and four to six inches off oh, the wall, yeah. you're under three inches off the wall, and that'll still hold five machines comfortably. And you can even hang something off the side, especially the angle piece here. So you could fit six or seven machines on this, and a nano would even hang off of here. So okay. it's up to you how many machines. This will hold as many as you can want to put on. Uh, and and these are new, not are out new. yet, but soon. Yep. So these are part of the brand new lineup. This is the last to actually come out. And this is our first series of the shelves. Again, keeping the, the cut angle look, the hexagon look. The logo's out over there on the corner. As you can see, everything's bolt on. We made it uh, standard for a typical, I know studded walls are all different, but for my research, it seemed like 16 was the most common. So these are set apart at 16 inches. Okay. We have other size shelves coming though, in the works. I love that. I can't wait to put so this garage. was originally thought for a pressure washer, but you could put again anything you would ever want on there. Yeah. And then we have a uh, dual dose. These are the wall mount for the MTM foam cannon, but you can fit any foam cannon you want in there. Again, a, a level reader for how much soap and liquid you have in the bottle. Drain on the bottom because you know it doesn't come off dry from your job, so it drains right out the bottom for you, yeah. so it stays nice and dry, and the bottle is dry too, so it's not sitting in any mess. Excellent. And there's more. And there's more. <laughs> and there's more. So here's our glove box. Oh, I'm so excited about that. I can never find gloves in our shops. They're out there everywhere. And Absolutely. This is awesome. Absolutely. I and I use a cheaper one from a different company that everybody's got a store around them that had one. And what I discovered looking through was almost every single box of gloves has a different outer dimension. And this will, because of this strong steel, it can clamp down on a smaller box and it can flex out enough for a larger box. So you won't find a standard what is standard sizes of boxes that yeah. won't fit perfectly in here. It fits snug, so when you grab it, it's not gonna to wanna to come off the wall, it's not gonna to try to pull the box through, you're just gonna pull the gloves. Love yep. Last but not least. And last but not least, this is straight from my shop, already been in use. This is our new large bottle holder. Um, these are uh, just over four inches. I don't know the exact measurement right off the top of my head, but they were designed around the new 35 inch IK sprayer bottles. Okay. So anything that's got a, a bottom that size or smaller, I believe it's about 4.28 inches or so, will fit in here. Again, strong as can be. Okay, yeah. And I think maybe my trailer might almost be going on that. Maybe about two. What do we decide, Jason? Uh, we need a 50. Some changes. So, yeah, that's I, I think a 50. Down below. Yeah, that's a 50. Yeah, that's a 50. Yeah, that's a 50. Or have them on the car when we first yeah. got the trailer what size is this? and it's a 32. set it up for okay. our detail. We were so worried about the swing coming out, but because Tony was able to add. Anyway, I would have to say for me, that second the articulation here is being able that's to, be able to walk get it out and then swing it open. The trailer. Okay. Okay. There's yeah. so much storage in there, I can walk right inside of it and have everything at my disposal. A little workbench, which I love having. Love it. And even have tons of storage. Hey, that's me! Awesome. It's so me. I have to say that's definitely one of the <laughs> Let's go to you. Yeah, but uh, who's the handsome guy next one to you? Uh, in the setup. Wait, me or uh, Another great thing <laughs> is, again, all of the storage. Being able to fit almost everything that I want in there, I can do that. I can have oh, all the storage on the doors that we're going to show you. <laughs> um, all the storage on the inside. Should be, uh, one second, let me bring it to you. It'll be this one here. Okay, okay. And also, can you explain us what are you doing? Um, we're connecting the water, so we got the water tank all pumped and everything, and we're gonna connect it to the pressure washer. Awesome. Almost there, almost there. He's doing a great job. Yeah, I'm learning so much. <laughs> I just want to test all, fit all this so we can make sure yeah. everything lines up and looks good. On this one, you're going to hook that one and then you're going to use one like the one is uh, double. I think it's going to go here. Yeah, let me see.
all right guys so that is gonna be it on this video and thanks for watching and i hope you guys like it and if you guys did like share and subscribe and i will see you guys on the next video thanks for watching bye